Hey everyone, it's PK here. Hope you're doing really well. I'm just driving home um, from meeting a friend and in this video I'm going to be talking about the typical journey that a brand new investor goes through or even an experienced investor goes through before buying their first or next investment property and where they get it wrong, okay, and how you can not get it wrong. <clears throat> so if you are looking to buy a property and you're the average sort of person, then this video is gonna be super helpful. So once again, my name's PK, and I actually help people buy investment property and generate a passive income, growth positive cash flow, without dropping $15,000 on a buyer's agent, without wasting their weekends at inspections, and also without wasting weeks or months doing research on domain, real estate, SQM, RP data, all that sort of stuff. So let's get into the video now. So <clears throat> you can put yourself in this situation and just see if this is you. Okay, so you want to become a property investor or you're thinking about your next property investment. Okay, and you really don't know where to start, right? And the number one problem that I hear people say is there's so much information out there. There's so much information online. What do I even do, right? Um, so typically what people do <clears throat> is they go on realestate.com.au <clears throat> and they start looking for properties. They'll put in a suburb that they think is nice, they've heard about, um, and they'll they'll try to find properties in that suburb, you know, that are seem like good deals. They're not completely sure if it is a good deal or not, but they try to see what it was sold for, you know, a few years ago and whether it's gone up much, or they try to see the recent growth that the suburb has had, and if it has had growth and they think, well, maybe this will continue, you know, maybe this is a good area, maybe this is the right property, but they're not sure. Or what people do, and this might be you, is on YouTube or on Google, they type in things like growth suburbs or where to invest for capital growth or where to invest for passive income, where to invest for positive cash flow. And then they see some articles. And I know this is correct because I talk to so many people <clears throat> aspiring property investors every single day um, they you know do it doing this Google search they see one media article maybe it's from realestate.com that say here are the top five growth suburbs for last year but are those the right suburbs for next year who knows then they see another article on some buyers agent blog saying these areas are prime for growth and then they go to another website and and they say these other areas are prime for growth. So everyone's saying a different thing and it's really hard to trust who to, well, who to trust. It's really hard to figure out who to actually go with. There's all this contrary and conflicting opinion out there. And so then what people do is that they have clicked a couple of these property marketing company or buyers agents websites, um, and now they start to get lots of Facebook ads. Um, in their feed or Instagram ads or YouTube ads, whatever the case may be, right? So now it's like, you know, they thought it was hard to begin with. Now it's literally like every second ad is trying to sell them something in the real estate space. So there's an ad saying pay your mortgage off in seven years um, using this cash flow strategy. There's another ad saying buy this brand new house, um, house and land package, great depreciation. It's, you know, it's the next big thing. Um, and then there's another ad that's saying um, that, you know, um, actually you need to um, buy an off the plan apartment or actually, you know what, all of this buy and hold stuff is rubbish. What you really need to do is um, is develop, and that's really where the money's at, right? You need to do some townhouses, or you need here's here's my favorite one: duplex deals. There's all these ads saying that um, you know you you create a duplex or a triplex, and you're going to make two hundred thousand dollars of instant equity in eighteen months, or two hundred fifty thousand dollars of instant equity in two years. You, you're just seeing all these ads, right? And your mind is it's just, it's just blowing up and you're getting a bit annoyed because you're seeing ads all the time, but you're extra annoyed because you can't figure out who to trust. You're extra annoyed because you don't know which way to go and the pain 
of not using the potential that you have is creating all this anxiety. You know, you have money in the bank, you have good jobs, but you're just not able to use that because you don't know who to go with, right? Um, and then <laughs> what, what people do, and I shouldn't be laughing because it's actually um, not great, but um, what people do is they attend all these webinars and seminars. So you've clicked the ad, you've opted in for your email, and I'm guilty of this as well, right? Like I ask for emails, but that's a separate thing. Um, you've opted in, you've given your email, and you've watched this 45 minute, two hour, three hour um, webinar, where they don't really give you any answers. They kind of just create more sense of pain. Um, they kind of give you a bit of a carrot and saying, well, to really get this carrot, you need to pay all this money, right? Um, or you might, not in the digital sphere, you might be in the physical sphere. You might have gone to a hotel room or a conference center where there's an all day event and they're telling you from the stage some sort of um, property investment strategy that actually seems to be completely legit and they have people up there on stage that have done it it seems to have worked for them client testimonials all that sort of thing and then at the end of the day at the end of the conference at the end of the seminar they try to sell you a property for a discounted price at the back of the room right so you know <laughs> you might have been in that situation as well and it kind of feels a bit yuck because you're being forced to do something in a short period of time. So where this leaves people is that you are inundated by information, you're drowning in information. If all that information was pointing in the right direction, that would be fine. But it's number two, pointing in all different directions. Everyone is saying a different thing or everyone has their own strategy that might have worked for them, but not sure if it's going to work for you. And number three, because you're seeing more and more of these ads, you've been attending more and more of these seminars, you've been attending more and more of these webinars, but not taking action for one month, for two months, for three months, for four months, for five months, for six months, for a year, for two years, you're simultaneously seeing the property market increase, even through COVID. You know, the one thing that COVID has taught me about residential real estate is it's remarkably resilient. And that's not spruiking, that's just a fact. It didn't go down, right? Um, if COVID didn't take it down, I don't know what will. Maybe there is something out there, I'm not an expert, but it didn't take it down. And so you're thinking, you know, I've been on the sidelines for so long, how am I, how am I gonna actually um, get in and actually see these results that everyone keeps talking about? I've, maybe some of your friends have been achieving them, but you don't really trust in what they're doing and, or, or trust their guidance. Uh, and so that number three is you're feeling a lot of pain. The pain of missing out on possibility. That's the pain, the pain of standing still, right? And I like to say that you only make change in life, regardless of whether it's in real estate or anything else, you only change when the pain of staying the same exceeds the pain of changing. So most people who do then take action are because they're feeling a lot of pain by not doing anything. Okay, so, and I know that obviously in the journey as well, others try to immerse themselves in Facebook groups, they try to immerse themselves in YouTube channels, try to learn this stuff themselves, you know, so they can't trust anyone, they don't want to pay an expert, you know, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 for the privilege of a awesome strategy or an awesome property, they try to learn it themselves on Facebook groups, on YouTube channels, through various other means and methods. But after six months of doing that, of kind of every day spending a few minutes, 10 minutes here, half an hour there, <clears throat> of trying to learn from others' experiences, absorbing all these experts, all these blogs, they realize that they still don't know enough to be able to pull the trigger. They still don't have the confidence in what they've learned. They still don't have the confidence in themselves to actually do it right and not make mistakes. Right, because the first property is the most important property, um, and so really, you, they've spent all this time, acquired all this knowledge, but it's all been surface level knowledge. It's all been surface level knowledge, right? And they've just heard the same thing over and over again. You need positive cash flow. You need growth. You need value add potential. Depreciation is good. Depreciation sucks. Um, 
you know, don't take too many risks, this is how you manage tenants. They have all these like bits and pieces from everywhere, from Facebook groups and YouTube videos, but they don't really have enough deep knowledge, deep conviction, deep um, education so that they can actually make a decision that will set themselves and their family up. So where am I going with all this? Obviously I have a bias, right? Like I'm not making these videos um, to, to mislead you or anything. Um, but the problem that is lacking in the residential real estate industry is, it's kind of like, if I use the pizza example, there's a lot of New York style pizza in, in residential real estate. Right? There's lots of education out there that's like New York style pizza. You know, it's thin crust, you can roll it like a, like a roll almost, right? And it tastes good, there's instant gratification, you think you're going to get a great outcome. But there's almost no one that is providing you with a Chicago deep crust pizza. This pizza is deep, you need to understand it. This pizza costs a bit of money, it's not free. Um, and this pizza is actually a little bit more nutritious, has more, more vegetables. Hopefully this metaphor is working. Um, so what most people go for is these get-rich-quick schemes, you know, instant equity, um, house and land package, off the plan, let's go with a buyer's agent. They seem that like, like they know what they're doing. They've got five years of experience. They've got two properties under their belt. They'll help me, I just let's just outsource it. That is New York style pizza, it tastes great at the start because it's easy but what you really need is Chicago deep crust pizza the people who genuinely make a six-figure passive income in 10 to 15 years time a passive income so that they can not necessarily buy a mansion or a fast car but just reduce their hours at work allow their wife or themselves um, to, to reduce their hours and retire early these are people who got educated and I don't mean education courses that are just a gateway drug into an off-the-plan property or a gateway drug into a particular type of property that the educator will then sell you. I'm talking education for education's sake. All right, that is Chicago deep crust pizza, right? It's deep, there's lots of vegetables in there, it's more expensive um, maybe potentially than, um, than the New York style pizza. But that is more nutritious. That is what's going to get you that solid understanding, that confidence, that, so that you can pull the trigger, you do know what you're doing, and that you're self-sustaining, right? That is the way that you overcome that fear of debt. That is the way that you overcome these myriad of strategies, not knowing what one is right for you. A way to figure out what you should do right now in property investing, where to invest, what to invest, the right strategy that works for you and your specific situation and circumstances. No one can is going to spend 15 hours with you to develop that with yourself without trying to sell you a property. That you have to do alone if you want it done right, but with guidance with someone who's done it before. Okay, so um, if, I mean, tell me if anything that I said resonated, if anything I said was in um, congruence with what you're feeling, what you're going through, your emotions, your practical experience, your reality, then let me know because I know that it's a fact that I just want to hear from you as well if, if you're resonating with, with what I'm saying. Okay, so just leave a, a comment below, say, leave a yes below or tell me your experiences from doing all these seminars, these webinars, all these um, you know, get rich quick fads, all, all of this stuff, engaging in buyer's agents only to figure out three years later that the property didn't do anything. Let me know what your experiences have been in the comments. I really want to know. And if you do, here's the punchline, right? If you do want that Chicago deep crust pizza without any of the upsell, without any properties to sell, just education for education's sake so that you can take action based on a proven system tailored to you and actually develop passive income growth positive cash flow in a safe secure way then i'll leave a, a link below and you can learn more okay um once again focus on education okay knowledge is power you need to educate yourself and that is the only thing at the end of the day that is going to guarantee and give you conviction and confidence and the skill set and experience to be able 
to generate that passive income, which is what you want. Trust is a chronic problem in the residential real estate industry. Why not take it in your own hands um, and develop the confidence at the same time so that you can actually do it? And, and better, better still, why not do that and do it in a way that doesn't take much time? Because I know you're busy, you've got a couple of young kids and things like that. All right, so if this makes sense, if this was useful, if this resonated with you, and if you want to find more stuff out about this, then um, yeah, leave a like or love below, S leave me a comment, and really let me know what you think, and subscribe to this channel if you're watching on YouTube. Okay, so my name's PK, and I've arrived home, so I'm gonna clock out. Thanks, guys, see you later.